over the weekend, Chainfire has released a method to root the Pixel and Pixel XL from Google. Now in order to do this, you will first need to have, make sure the bootloader is unlocked. And if you don't know how to do that, you can either check one of the previous videos I've done on how to unlock the bootloader or if you look in the description below this video you'll find a link to the full tutorial for this root method and in that full tutorial I link and, dis and describe all the steps needed to unlock the bootloader for both the Pixel and Pixel XL you buy from the Google Store as well as the Pixel and Pixel XL that you buy from Verizon and EE. In order to do this, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot installed on your computer, which shouldn't be a problem if you have unlocked the bootloader, as that's already required. Again, if you don't have this or uninstalled it, then check the full tutorial and I will link to all of that. So you're going to want to double click on the minimal ADB and fastboot shortcut that's created once you install that program or if you have ADB and fastboot tools installed differently just go ahead and launch the command prompt and then navigate to wherever you have those minimal ADB and fastboot tools. You're also going to need to download a special image for the Pixel or Pixel XL. There's two images, one for the Pixel, one for the Pixel XL. And again, check the full tutorial as I will link directly to that download from Chainfire. Once you have downloaded that, you'll want to unzip the image file. You want to extract it and then either move or copy it to the location where you have ADB and Fastboot tools. For me, that is C Program Files x86, minimal ADB and Fastboot, and then I have copied that, fa that boot to root image. So I'm just going to go ahead and type out the command Fastboot space boot space boot dash two dash root dot img and before you execute that command we're going to need to boot the pixel or pixel xl into fast boot mode so we do that by bringing up the power menu tapping on restart and then instantly start to hold down the volume down button once you are in fast boot mode which is also known as bootloader mode. Go ahead and connect the Pixel or Pixel XL to your computer with the USB cable. And then we're going to press enter on the keyboard to execute that fast boot command. As soon as you press enter, you're going to wait a few seconds and then you'll see the Pixel or Pixel XL reboot. Now Chainfire reminds us that this first process can take a minute. This first boot can take a minute. So just be patient until the device reboots and you should wait for, I believe he said, several reboots. See, so that was one reboot. And the root tools are just doing its job. So just be patient. And see, we got a second reboot right there. This is normal.
Don't be afraid that your device has gone into a boot loop. You should be okay as long as you did, as long as you sent the correct image file to your device. Now, if you downloaded the Pixel image file and you tried to flash it to the Pixel XL, you might run into some issues. But as long as you pick the right file, there's no need to be paranoid about that process. You can see we finally booted up. Now we're back to the home screen. And we have Super SU right here. We're going to go ahead and launch it. Make sure there's not any errors. Now, if for some reason SuperSU is not there, I believe I've read a couple cases where the application did not show up. It should. There should be no issue with that. But if it did not show up, you can go ahead and download SuperSU from the Play Store and find out if it installed properly.